Hey guys, it's Larry, and today I am making some cards, and I'm playing with this new Curvy Celebrations bundle, and it is just adorable, just available November 3rd, it's only available through January, and it is so cute. Um, there's the Quite Curvy bundle, which I have and I'm working with today. You can also get the Curvy Christmas set if you want to um, utilize it for Christmas cards. There is a Christmas, classic Christmas designer series paper, and there is the whole bundle, and you can save 10%, of course, by doing a bundle. But anyhow, I will have links for the, all the information below. I just wanted to show you a couple of cards that I am making with this today. And what I've done is I laid out, I've made two already, I'm going to show you at the end, and now I'm designing a new one. And I'm just kind of laying things out. So if you want to see how these cards come together, see all the cards that I've made so far with this bundle, then stick around. We're going to have some fun. Okay guys, so as I mentioned, I'm using the Curvy Celebrations bundle. I have the Curvy Dives, Dies and the Quite Curvy. I am picking out paper. I think I'm going to use a Pretty Peacock card base landscape. And I might use some of this greenery paper, which I just find adorable. So kind of just laying things out. I'm going to see how it comes together. Right now, I am looking at doing two of the borders that come in the dies and where I'm going to put my sentiment. Um, this is just regular Whisper White cardstock, and I think this is how I'm going to cut it. So I have taped these two down together side by side. So one's going to cut and one is going to just make a really nice um, design. So let's see how it works. Let's, I'm going to pull out my um, die cut machine and start cutting and see how it works out. Okay, so I ran it through my big shot. Let's see how this came out. Keep your fingers crossed. I think my tape's a little bit too sticky. Okay, so first thing I learned is that this one actually cuts um, not just the holes, but it actually cut the border. So the second one was pretty irrelevant, so that's good to know. But I have this nice little strip. <laughs> I can potentially use this for something. So that was interesting. Didn't realize that. That's why it's always good to practice and play. So I think that still works, though. Because what I was thinking is putting it on here like this, so that you can see the card color below, but also have a place to put a sentiment. I kind of like that. And then I wanted to somehow incorporate this designer series paper, but I'm not sure how to do that yet. My sentiment... I chose was what well, you are one in a million which I want to put right here but how should I do that paper and we just put some up here ah oh, I know what we're gonna do I'm gonna cut this down to as white as my card and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do this is the whole design process for me. This is how I think through ideas and figure out what I'm going to do. I think that's good. So I'm going to cut it right at that green line. Okay, here's what I've got. Put 
put my cinnamon away. What I'm thinking is I will cut this with the polka dot edge to go with it. What do you think of that? Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, let's do that. So I want to line this up. Let me clear off this plate real quick. Here's what I want to do. I want it to be the same curve, so I want to lay it down to match. And then just put this where it needs to be. There. Right about there. How do I do that? Oh, let's do it the other way. Duh. This is how we can line it up. So we get the same curve at the same location. So I'm pushing the white against my die. Once I get that straight, then I will line up the papers to match. Right there. And then, I'll tape it down. Alright, I'm going to take this over to my die cutting machine. Okay, let's see how it worked. Ah, oh, look at that. Yes. I like... Isn't that awesome? And then it'll be on the card base like this. Yeah. What do you think? All right, let me um, get my ink out, and we're going to stamp our sentiment. Clean up my mess. So I'm using my pretty peacock, and I need a block. I think this one will work perfectly. I'm just going to use this for keeping my alignment here. Again, I've picked out the Your One in a Million for this card. I think that's perfect. And I haven't used this one yet, so I'm just going to rub it a little bit with my fingers. It's really sticky. I think this helps get a sharper image first time around. And let me get some scratch paper. I just have a piece of paper um, wrapped around my, what is this called? Um, I don't know. A little stampy thing. This is really good for when you're doing um, the non-rubber, if you're doing the photopolymer. This gives it a little bit of cushion to get a nice clear image. And then I have my scratch paper, so I don't have, so I can do a little stamp off and make sure this one comes out clean first time. I always do a practice with a brand new stamp. I love this font. A little bit messy. Let me clean this up real quick. I think I stamped it just a little bit sloppy, that's all.
Oh, it's so cool. And I love this color ink. All right, let's do it. Oh, it's perfect. Yay. Okay, so here's the base of our card. What else are we going to do to it? I still got water on my hands. I just love these colors. Love, love, love. What do you think? Pretty stinking cute. And it's so easy. So, I think that's it for the front. I'm going to put a white, piece of white, Whisper White, in here so that we can write on it. And then maybe we'll put something else on the inside, too. So let's get another piece of paper. Got my Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to cut this at probably like three and three quarters by five. So this will go in here like this, and I think we're going to put something else on there. What else we got? I'm thinking one of the birds. How about we can do the hello and maybe a bird? Let's see. Hello. Hello. And let's do a bird, one facing this way. This guy. Oh, yeah, he's cute, huh? Just put him down here in the corner. Perfect. Now let's put it all together. That was super, super, that was super, super easy. Easy for you to say. All right. I love easy cards. It makes it go faster, it's motivating, it's fun, makes me feel like I can make a whole bunch in one day, which is always cool. Remember, it's not just about making the cards, you got to mail them out. Let people know you're thinking about them. Okay, so let's just put this all together. I'm going to bring out some tape. Where did I put it? So I am still using up some of my old snail because I had so many of them and I really found I wasn't using it very much, but I'm trying to start using it again because I've ordered the Stampin' Seal and the Stampin' Seal Plus. And I really want to try those out. So let's see what we can do here. Your 
here's our inside. I don't think I'm going to pop that up. I think I like it just like that. Let's do it. Unless I pop this one up. Actually, that might be cool. Let's do that. So let's touch this one first. Look, I keep getting my head in here. Sorry, guys. So, these two we want to match. Let's put some dimensionals. I think everyone's kind of come to the conclusion dimensionals are a girl's best friend, right? I'm definitely using them more than ever before. So what do you think? I'm going to try out the Christmas bundle. Um, I don't know why I didn't get it. We, we had an opportunity as demonstrators to pre-order, and for some reason I did not get the Christmas one. So that is coming on my next order. But I definitely love these curvy dies, and the fact that the sentiments curve alongside them is just adorable. Did I, get, I didn't get that one. That one either. Oops. Can't see because of the lights if I'm actually getting them. There we go. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. I love, love, love pretty and simple cards. Yes. What do you think? Gorgeous. So that is the card we just made together. I will show you a couple of the other cards that I finished just a few minutes ago. And you can see the whole little uh, sweet bundle. If you look at the attachment, I'll have an attachment below. Check that out. If you want to order, I would love it if you would order from me, of course. But here is a birthday card I made, and I did the envelope already too. Here's birthday card with this bundle using the peony, prized peony, I think, uh, designer series paper. Stunning. I love the black with the paper and just a little bit of color. That's the petal pink. Happy birthday. And I also made, where'd it go? Okay, I think my battery died, so let's try it again. So this is the one we just finished. Super cute. I showed you the birthday one, and the first one I made is this. Look how pretty. So this is the uh, greenery, what's it called? Forever Greenery Designer Series Paper. And this is a Thinking of You Makes My Day. Oops, there's a dot, dust on there. Look how pretty. And I did the ivy on the side. It's a beautiful, beautiful stamp set and die set. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you will pick it up. I, again, I'll have the information in the description below. And if you would like to shop, I would love it if you would come shop with me. Check out my store. Um, it's under Laura Thornberry and my nickname Larry for Larry's Living Light. You guys all know I love to live light. So thank you for going through this tutorial with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to make some cards. If you do, please tag me in social media. I'd love to see what uh, version of this that you come up with. Or if you even um, want to do the same exact layouts, I'd love to see them. Thanks for playing along, and I will see you in the next video. Remember, always be thankful, be kind, and keep living light. 
See you guys. <laughs>